Hey everybody, uh, today I'm just going to show you real quick how to use iPogo, uh, which is a spoofing app. This is their website uh, that allows you to jump around in Pokemon Go all over the world from the comfort of your house or wherever you happen to be. Um, it's super simple to use, super uh, easy to uh, get around, install, etc. I will show you the basics on how to get it configured on this video and then on future videos I can show you how to really get the most out of iPogo. Um, so let's get started. It's not too difficult. It only takes a few minutes, so we'll make this quick and easy. Uh, first step will be to remove Pokemon Go from your phone. It cannot be installed. So we're gonna remove it. And once it's gone, we can get started on installing iPogo instead. So you go to ipogo.app, that's it, ipogo.app. And once you're here, you have a choice of either ipogo Apple, iOS, or ipogo Android. Now I haven't used it on Android. I don't know anything about Androids, unfortunately, but I assume the process is pretty similar. And it's super easy on an uh, iPhone, so I would venture to guess it's just as easy on an Android. So we're gonna select ipogo Apple iOS. And then from there, you have two choices. Again, it asks you which way you want iOS or Android, so I'm just gonna choose iOS. And then you have two options for that. You have uh, Singulus. Singulus is a service that you'll subscribe to. I believe it's $19.95 a year. Um, that will basically give you a, a, sell, a signed certificate that lasts that year so that you don't have to reinstall the app as a developer every week. Uh, that's certainly worth it if you uh, want to spend some money. I'm a cheapskate. I don't want to spend any money. Um, the other nice thing about this one though is no computers needed. You don't need a Windows PC or a Mac to do this. Um, so you can install with Singulus using that option, uh, pay their, uh, the, the fee for the annual certificate renewal, or you can use Sideloadly. Sideloadly requires a computer. Uh, you cannot do it all from your phone, uh, but it's completely free. Uh, that's the one I'm going to go over with you, and so I'll show you how to use it, but you're welcome to explore the Singulus option. There's also options for jailbroken devices. You do not have to have your phone jailbroken in order to do this, um, but uh, as it says at the bottom there, difficult to maintain, so I don't recommend that one either. And then there's some other options that they uh, talk about as well, but again, uh, don't recommend. One I go for is Sideloadly. It's free, it's super easy. Um, weekly you have to do it, but it's not a big deal. It takes seconds. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and select install with Sideloadly. And it tells you exactly what you're gonna to need to install in order to be successful with this. So you'll need to download the iPogo IPA with that option. If you don't already have uh, iTunes installed, uh, and you're on a Windows machine, you'll have to either get the 32-bit or the 64-bit iTunes, depending on what your OS is. Most are 64-bit these days. Um, if you're on a Mac, you don't need it. It comes with the Mac OS, so you shouldn't need to install iTunes if you're on a Mac. And then lastly, you'll need Sideloadly, um, either for Windows or Mac. Um, so uh, we'll get started. Uh, basically, just click on the IPA option. It downloads it. it takes literally a couple seconds to download, it's not very big. And you don't even have to wait for it, you can go ahead and start downloading your iTunes. I already have iTunes installed, I didn't want to uninstall it uh, and lose all my libraries and stuff, so if you don't have it, make sure you install it. You don't actually use iTunes in this process, but the uh, side loadly needs it in order to be able to sign certificates, etc., and assign them to your phone. So it has to be installed, but you will not actually use iTunes. Um, and then lastly, you're going to download side loadly. I'm going to get the Windows version. And that also only takes a few seconds to download. And then once you got them, you'll go ahead and right click on where it downloaded, say show in folder. See, I did it earlier, so it's already there, but I'll just use the latest one for fun here. My IPA is right next to it, but I don't need it yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and run as administrator on that. So I right clicked on it, run as administrator. I'm gonna say yes when it asks me if it's okay. And then I'll just next, next, install. And it's super fast. 
it'll automatically check run and create desktop icon. I would leave those checked. Hit finished. And it's that simple. It even launches it for you. Next step is it wants the IPA that you're going to want to install on your phone. Notice um, it remembers me from the last time, but if yours doesn't, when you plug in your phone, which I'll do now, it should recognize your phone and uh, then you can use it. Uh, that is not my phone. So if you have multiple phones, make sure you select the right one. Uh, next, you'll click on the IPA logo here and browse to where you save your IPA, which is probably your downloads folder. There it is. And uh, just get the latest version, the newest one, as long as it's the right version, and hit open. You'll notice then I have the Pokemon Go logo there. And it's just, it's just as simple as now I have to enter in my Apple ID. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now this will be the Apple ID you use for apps on your phone, um, not necessarily the one you use for Pokemon Go. Um, so this is Apple ID you use to install apps, so the one you use for your app store on your phone. And then uh, you hit start. Now, if you've never done it before, it's gonna ask you for your Apple ID password. If you have, it's gonna remember it from the previous time. Um, this is the first time I've done it with this installation Oh, side lowly, so I do have to uh, type in the password. But then, again, you don't have to do that every single time, just the first time. And then it starts doing it. Then it goes through and it starts signing it. takes just a couple minutes and it starts uploading it to your phone see it extracting the package the whole thing goes pretty quickly just a couple minutes and it's done so if we look, my phone now has what looks to be Pokemon Go, but it's not. If I try to launch it right now, it's not gonna let me. It'll say this, untrusted developer. And that's because I haven't trusted certificates from myself yet. So no problem. Let me just go to settings. From settings, you'll go ahead and select general. Then you'll scroll to VPN and device management. And you'll see your certificate there untrusted. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trust it. I select it and hit trust. And then I say, yeah, trust that. And it's that simple. Now it's trusted. Now I can open it, open up um, Pokemon Go, which is really iPogo. And it recognizes who I am, or it recognizes that as a trusted app. And then it's just asking me the normal notification type stuff. And that's it as far as getting it installed and working on your, on your phone. Um, each time you install it, you will have to give it your birth year, month, day type thing, um, just like you did the first time you installed Pokemon Go. Um, but that's it. I will do a separate video on how to actually use iPogo. It's also very simple um, and great uh, to jump around and do stuff but I will send another video or upload another video that shows you exactly how to use iPogo. But it's that simple, guys. Uh, questions in the comments, I will try to answer everything that anybody asks, um, but it really only takes a few minutes to get this thing set up. Um, and then weekly, um, when you go to click on it, if it says it's no longer valid or something like that, you'll need to reinstall it. Um, again, you come back to your computer, you open up Sideloadly, you go back to the app.pogo website. You repeat downloading the new IPA. You don't need iTunes again. You don't need Sideloadly again. You just need the IPA if the version has changed. If the version hasn't changed, you don't even need to download the new version. You would just 
browse to it again. So if it's still 248 next week, I don't need to re-download it. If it's 249 next week or something even newer, then I need to download it and, and choose it here. But once I've um, got it in here, I would just hit start again, reconnect my phone and hit start again, and it would push the new version to my phone. It takes a minute or so, that's it, super fast. Um, the key here is though, do not delete the old version. Um, let Sideloadly do it. Let Sideloadly overwrite it with the newer one. The reason why is if when you go to click on this, it doesn't work and you delete it, now you have no more trusted apps from you as the developer on your phone. So when you redo it, re-push it from Sideloadly, you'll have to retrust the certificate as well. Where if you let Sideloadly do it, um, it will remember you again and you won't have to retrust the certificate every week. In addition, you won't lose all your settings. So in iPogo or Pokemon Go, there's favorites and um, and your, your various settings you're gonna set within iPogo. You'll lose those every week if you don't have it overwrite instead of deleting and reinstalling from scratch. So it took me a while to learn that. Make sure you leave the old version on there and let Sideloadly replace it and you won't lose your settings and you won't have to retrust the certificate every week. You, could, you just have to repush the, the, the app and it's that simple. Um, I will do a separate video on how to save your settings, how to uh, which settings I recommend within the app, uh, how to jump around, all that good happy stuff will be in a separate video. But I wanted to get this one and keep it as simple as uh, possible on just how to install it and get it working on your phone. Hope you enjoyed, uh, put any comments. If you liked um, the video, go ahead and like it for me and uh, subscribe. Talk to you soon, bye.